Good morning. It's Pastor Marianne Kellenbach from Living Faith Church, and today I decided that we would take our meditation outdoors. One of the things that I love about outdoors is when the breeze blows, and I can hear the breeze, and I can feel the breeze, because it reminds me that the Holy Spirit is present with me. I think of it as the Holy Spirit, God's breath, kissing my face, going through my hair, just touching my skin and enveloping me. When we think of the Holy Spirit, we go right to the very beginning of the story, or what's called the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. In the beginning, when God created, in the beginning, God's Spirit was present. That Hebrew word for the wind of God, that wind is ruach. Ruach, even saying it, actually produces wind. It is the very breath of God that swept over, that um, went over the face of the deep, the abyss. The very breath of God was present before the earth was even formed into what we know it as today. And so that's the very first chapter of Genesis, verses 1 and 2. And now we are in the Gospel of John. And so I know we're jumping ahead a little bit, and I do know that this is the season of Lent, but I think we need to hear this today. It is after Jesus rose from the dead and appeared to the disciples who were hiding that first first morning that Jesus had risen because they were afraid. They were hiding behind locked doors. And this is what we hear. Jesus came and stood among them. This is John chapter 20, verse 20. Sorry, verse 19. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. And Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when Jesus had said this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Jesus breathed the Holy Spirit, the very breath of God, and now God incarnate, God risen upon the disciples. May you feel that breath on this very day. Amen.